Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Pavin and today we are watching Spy Family Season 1, Episode 10 called The Great Dodgeball Plan. You know what? The <sighs> This is gonna be a great episode, okay? Anything with dodgeball in it, sign me up. I will have you know, I was the queen of dodgeball in middle school. If we wanna go back a few episodes when I talked about my small ball release syndrome, um, that only came on a little later in life. I used to be a really good thrower back in the day, and let me tell you, people were terrified of me on the dodgeball pitch because I could whip that ball wherever I wanted. And you know what? I didn't really care if people got injured either. I was a little psycho. So I'm excited for this. Um, last episode was weird. Yuri's not my favorite. He is not my favorite at all. He's a psycho in a different way from me when I was playing dodgeball, okay? Um, yeah. Poor Yor was having a meltdown, thinking that uh, Twilight didn't love her, that she wasn't a good wife, blah, blah, blah. Really glad they got together and got on the same page at the end. It put Anya's mind at, at ease too, but Yuri's a problem that's going to have to be dealt with here. Um, and I'd prefer if it was sooner rather than later, so we will see. I feel like he's going to be an obstacle that just keeps showing up. So needless to say, I don't think that that first meeting between Yuri and Twilight went well. Um, Yuri's clearly jealous. He's got some feelings for Yor. Um, I'm not going to talk about that any further. And Twilight already has him figured out. So it's amateur hour. Anyways, I'm too pumped because I said dodgeball. So I won't keep you waiting. We are watching season one, episode 10 today, and I cannot wait to see where this is gonna go. So hang tight because it's coming right now. Please tell me that's the headmaster. Not gonna lie, I love that he was working out. おはようございます、先生。先生も校長はいかがかね。ええ、いただきます。先生が初等生の担任をもたれるのは久しぶりでしたね。どうですか、今年は。もう仕事以外のある生徒たちだよ。え、なんでも早速初日にトリとお与え
んかあやぶぶちですよダミアン様のお兄様すげえ勢いでステラジをされてますねさすがですでもダミアン様ならもっと早くインペリアルスカラーになれますよ俺らの学年のステラ1号はダミアン様に決まってますままあだと言っても試験はまだ先だし最初のチャンスはあ来週の体育組対抗ドッジボール大会がありますよ、Perfect. 俺の友達が7組の友達から聞いた話らしいんですけど MVP になればステラがもらえるって本当かこれですよダミアン様 MVP か。I will just say that if I was in that school, I would earn a Stella because of my dodgeball prowess that I talked about earlier. Looks like our boy Damien has some big shoes to fill and he might end up being a little resentful.、Um, maybe he doesn't want to follow the same path as his brother, but he's feeling pressure. Did you see his face? He didn't look so sure of himself.、Um, this is a logistical question. Is that one kid's head shaped like that, or is his hair hairsprayed? Very important question.、Um, also, is the one with the weird hair a boy or a girl? What are their names? Thank you. She already apologized, like, lay off. I was gonna take. Right up yours, Allie. I love this so much. For dodgeball. Death defying sit ups. Oh, my gosh, her hair. The mother that I want to be. Look at her. Oh, Anya, you've got a challenge? Let's tackle it together. I will help you get ready. Also, Yor is very athletic because we have seen her moves. We've seen her 
karate chop moves, her spin moves, her jump moves, and so has Twilight. So I don't know why he's playing so dumb about it. Um, also, can we talk about Anya's hairdo? I know, I know, hair is my thing. Probably couldn't guess by looking at me. <laughs> But it seems to be the thing that draws me to anime characters. Um, the little bun. Kill me. She is too cute. Also, let's maybe we should work on her throwing before we work on her abs and her stamina. But you know what? I'm not the one coaching her, so I shouldn't be judgmental. I'm just saying what I would do. I would work on her accuracy throwing, but... Mm. あ、<笑> <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this! Yours the best. Yours the best. Oh my gosh, what is she gonna look like? This is gonna be great. I kind of wish that she still had the ponytail or the bun going on because that was too cute. Um, but sure, I'll take the headband. I will say it again, your is the greatest. Aside from being an assassin, <laughs> aside from just marrying Twilight, she has been pivotal, okay, in this mission because she is helping Anya more than anybody fulfill her role in it. So, you're a star, I'm obsessed with her, that's all. <laughs> That kid's got a huge target to hit on his head. <笑><笑> Don't feel bad for him. No, no mercy, Anya. <笑>みんな紳士宿女の精神に乗っ取り She had better go all out. She had better be like a flippin' tornado running through that gym, okay? Forget elegant. You're here to be the MVP. You know what? I am just saying what my pep talk would be to Anya. 
she better not be there to mess around. Okay, Estella's on the line. Don't feel bad for Damien, crush him. That's all. <laughs> One ball, where's the chaos? So he Oh No. But... What the heck is going on? This kid is supposed to be in first grade. <laughs> Somebody better have a great explanation for me here because I cannot handle this, okay? He flexed his pec muscles. <laughs> He wiggled his pec muscles. His voice <laughs> is so deep. He is as tall as one of their parents. Please somebody tell me this is a joke. This kid is not for real. I don't know what else to say because I'm th so thrown off. And if some of you guys comment and are like, what are you stupid? Of course he's their dad. How am I supposed to know? He's in the first grade gym class. I'm so confused right now. I'm okay. I'm going to keep going. That was not elegant either. Oh gosh. Is he a computer? Is he a machine? They need to team up.
Oh my gosh, I'm dying. Wait a minute. I'm just, I just need to say, if Bazooka Bill is that much smaller than his dad, his dad is the size of a flipping house, okay? This is not okay. Also, I will go back to the rules at the beginning of the game. I know I told Anya not to be elegant, but if we're gonna be picky here, the rules at the beginning of the game said, you need to be elegant, young men and women. And the fact that he's basically playing pinball with these kids is not that, okay? Um, I don't... That's all. I'm outraged, is what I am. Throw it at his knees or something, he keeps stiff arming. You know, pop the ball or make it a whoa. His teeth gone. Those choppers are done. His teeth are gonna R.I.P. Dead. still attached. <laughs> you think? Good, she, good thing she's been training. Oh my gosh, okay, let me regroup. Ooh, I, that was a forceful cackle, my friends. <laughs> I think the thing that got me was the kid getting taken out in the back. <laughs> and the sound effect they used was blorf. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I'm sweating because I just, Telepathy is a real gift, okay? You know what, sometimes has its drawbacks, but in this moment, it is really, really a treasure. Um, 
I will not stop talking about this kid. He is not a kid, okay? You can't even create a voice that deep in the wild. He is, he's a robot. He is, the way that he has his like ultra vision computer, he's not real. I'm, I'm refusing to believe it, okay? Good thing she worked on her sit-ups. Oh wow, he absorbed that impact. His stomach is literally going to explode. No problem. Let's do this. Aim for his knees. Aim for his knees. Oh my God, oh my God, she is me. She is me. She is me! Did anybody see her throw that directly into the ground? Guys. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. That is what I was talking about. Small ball release syndrome. This is not necessarily a small ball. It's very big compared to Anya. It's like bigger than her head. But that is me. I am Anya. That's what happens when I try to throw something really hard now. Straight into the ground. I can't tell you how connected I feel to her right now. Um, I knew I loved her, but this connection, it's like next level because not many people can understand that. Like this one is special. Oh my God. Unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 
Never mind about that, Stella. Okay, well, I must admit that's not where I thought that was going. I really believed that all of Anya's training with Yor was going to be incredibly beneficial. Um, I was wrong. <laughs> Turns out her telepathy is what made her survive the longest. I will take that, but like, dang, that was anticlimactic. Um, <sighs> Damien does have a crush on her because he just instinctually went to protect Anya, which is amazing. Um, we found out Crab and Goyle's names, Emil and Ewan. Um, so I'm really happy about that. I learned that today and I feel so deeply connected to Anya, like almost on a spiritual level now after seeing her throw that ball. We are the same. So that is my big takeaway from this episode. I loved this. I had the most aggressive cackle I think I may have ever had on camera. So thank you spy family and dodgeball for bringing that out of me all right she almost got her stella just not in the way we expected and promptly proceeded to ruin it because they can't help it they can't help hating each other um so great looks like we're gonna have to go to plan x on how to get a flipping stella here but i mean that episode was great. I never know what direction this is gonna go. So it is always a surprise. We are not following any particular sequence here and I am all about that. So hit me up with your comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, and as always, I would be so excited if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned because more Spy Family is coming next week. Thanks guys.